Hey everybody, so a few days ago I posted a video that talked about some troubles I was having with Zoic and just an all of a sudden out of nowhere falling revenue. In the comments of that video, the discussion turned to the Zoic site speed app service thing. I've talked to some people who really like it and have talked to several people who have just really struggled to get it to work consistently. And in the comments, I'm just going to read really quick what you're seeing here on screen. It says the page speed accelerator works by deferring JavaScript. There's a free plugin that does the same thing. It's called async JavaScript, but you have to set it to defer, not async in the settings or else your ads won't load. I'm not currently doing really anything to try to make my page faster aside from optimizing images and just trying not to have lots of extra stupid stuff. I'm also running a premium theme that is advertised to be set up and ready to deal with display ads. When I have previously checked on the speed and what I could do to my site to make it faster, I find that for the most part, what is slowing me down are the ads. I have been really on the fence one way or another about the Azoic speed thing. And so when somebody says, hey, you could just use this free plugin and it would do the same thing as the speed thing, I am curious how that would play out. Now, I'm not super technical, so when somebody says something about JavaScript, my eyes basically glaze over. I think I have a basic understanding of what this plugin does and how it works. But the question is, I mean, would it make my site faster? If you don't know what plugin I'm talking about, don't worry because I had never heard of it either. Right now, what you're looking at is a screenshot of async JavaScript. JavaScript and what you'd see in the wordpress.org repository. As recommended, the first thing I did was just test and get a read on the site speed. And in this test, I'm using GT metrics. There's all kinds of different versions of it, but I figured just to be consistent, I would do the before and after using GT metrics. So here is the trial run that I did on Sunday, just a couple of days ago. And as you can see, it gives me a pretty crap page speed score, 51%. And the fully loaded time for the, the home page, which is what I've tested here, was 14.5. Fours. I assume the S is seconds, but... <laughs> Now for the full report, basically everything is green. I'm either in the A or the B range. Tons of A's here for most of the things, but I'm getting some F's and a D for browser caching, redirects, and request size. When I click on these to find out more about them, basically everything that gives me an F is associated with my ads. My ads are slowing my side down. That doesn't surprise me at all. Then I went ahead and installed this plugin. It was free and I set up the settings like was described in this comment, setting it to defer, not async, so that my ads would load. And then after installing it, of course, I went to my site and made sure that the ads would load. And here is the result of this experiment. So here, my fully loaded time was 14.4 seconds, and I got E for the page speed score. And afterwards, I got a fully loaded time of 15.9 seconds, and an E and an F, with basically the same issues all the way across the board, with the exception that browser caching. So yes, of course, if I clear the cache and then run a speed test, I think it's going to be slower. And there's no surprise to me that there's an issue with browser caching. So I decided to wait for a bit and then I ran it again. And if you believe me or not, it was actually slower. Now there are so many things that could factor into this, right? It could be my host. It could be something completely unrelated to this plugin. But what I was hoping to see was some sort of positive change, right? And why don't I think this worked? I think the reason this didn't work is because the theme I am using is already doing this. And so adding on a plugin to do what my theme is already doing, not that helpful. So this wasn't an experiment that I continued. I went ahead and deactivated this plugin and I'm not using it. But I tell you folks, there's only one way in this whole online world to know one way or another if something is going to work or not, and that is to try it out. So you might look at this video and you may decide that the takeaway from it is don't use this plugin. And honestly, I don't think that's what you should take away from. This plugin might work for you. I don't know what theme you're running. I don't know what your speed issues are. All of us are interested in making our sites faster because we know that it impacts our rankings with Google. It impacts our user experience. It impacts our ad revenue. People are unhappy with the load time on the site. They're not going to stay. They're not going to scroll down. They are not going to click on an ad and they are not going to click on an affiliate link. So when they land on the site, we want them to stay. So this is me taking my own advice. There's something to be gleaned from this. I hope you got it. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next one.